Hi, I'm Corey Flemings from Abco Automation. Do you have a single technology distribution system? Do you basically pick all of your SKUs the same way? If that's the case, you may be missing some huge opportunities for efficiency, and I'd like to show you why. In the 19th century, there was an Italian guy named Vilfredo Pareto, and he is responsible for the Pareto curve, or the Pareto principle. We know it today as the 80-20 rule, as we have applied it to business. And the 80-20 rule basically states that 20% of your SKU base does 80% of your volume. That's right, 80% of your volume is done by 20% of your SKUs. And conversely, 80% of your SKUs only do 20% of your volume. So what does that have to do with distribution? Well, if you're picking all of your SKUs the same way, then you're forgetting this principle. You're assuming that every SKU that you add moves the same way as the last one you added. So you have a linear function on this curve. Well, kind of linear. So as I add from 25 to 50%, I'm adding from 25 to 50% of my business volume. Whether I measure my business volume in lines, in pieces, uh, red ramazootics, however you want to metric your business volume, it doesn't really matter. You're assuming in a one technology system everything gets picked the same. But Pareto said this, Pareto says that 20% of my business volume, or sorry, my SKU base, does 80% of my business volume, and it looks like this. You'll notice that we wear really groovy shirts at Abco Automation that have the Pareto curve built right into them. And that's because we really think that you can leverage the difference between this linear relationship and this Pareto curve. This Pareto curve again suggests 20% of your products do 80% of your volume. Why then would I pick those SKUs the same way that I do these down here at the end, which I'll say are my D SKUs if I put letters on these, or my dog SKUs. These SKUs down at the end, they might only do 4% of your business volume. And with the C's together, somewhere between 10 and 15% of your whole business volume. Yet, they're going to represent 50% of your SKU base. And if you're a distribution center operations person, you're slapping your forehead saying, why do we bother carrying these things? Well, it doesn't matter what products you carry, you're always going to have this Pareto effect. So why do you pick them all the same way? Again, these products that are down here at the end can have some technology applied to them, these two things here, in products that I call product to person technologies. They might be carousel systems or shuttles, but they're, they're technologies or vehicles that bring products to the picker instead of the picker going out and passing 80% of the SKUs in the warehouse to find the one that they need. These products or technologies bring them to the selector instead. A huge benefit in efficiency of picking these orders here. Over here on the other end, you have 20% of your products that are doing 80% of your volume. Why would you move these products around? These products need to be stationary or stay in one area, and they can be picked. Oftentimes, the problem you're dealing with here is how do you replenish them fast enough? In both cases, automation can be used to help you select these and select these differently. Do you have, as I asked earlier, a single technology warehouse? Well, then you can see now that there are some huge differences in efficiency that we can apply to help make your distribution center more efficient. Give us a call at Abco Automation. We can help do the analysis and carve your Pareto curve up with the proper technologies because we do the math.